Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan Retros set to release this September and I'm excited because there are a lot of them. I'm talking about over 20 different drops. Starting with sneaker number one, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Retro Triple White. This one is pretty much basic clear cut to the point, all white Air Jordan 1 Low Retro. This is not an OG cut, so it is going to be that retro cut. A little bit bulkier and probably the quality is not going to be as nice as your neutral gray, but I know a lot of people are going to serve a good purpose for them. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to have these for their collection. I don't think these are going to sell out per se, but I definitely think people are going to want to have these next up we have another air jordan one low retro and this is going to be the olive canvas colorway i know recently over the past couple years with the travis scott releases a lot more people have been showing love to the earth tone type colorways so i'm sure this is going to be a sneaker that i can see a lot of people anticipating as well and should be able to get at an affordable price also on that same day we're going to have another air jordan one low retro and that's going to be in the vintage gray colorway and again very neutral and i can see again a lot of people wanting to go after these let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section oh yeah and by the way if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey! on this channel i love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys updates like this so if you haven't already consider subscribing and joining the fam we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there now let's take it to the next shoe we have the clot air jordan delta 2 now we have seen clot do collaborations with higher number retros even some lower number retros as well and typically it's kind of like a hit or miss type thing when it comes to the collectors and who wants to have that shoe in their collection but for this one in particular i think a lot of people are not going to really want to have these now again this might be a comfortable sneaker to wear every now and then but to see this as a collaboration type shoe i'm personally not really feeling them that much but again everybody has their own opinions and we're all welcome to buy whatever we want to buy i'm just here to give you guys my outtakes of all the sneakers next up right here we have the air jordan one mid olive toe again these are kind of following those earth tone vibes and now that we're working our way into the fall time i can definitely see why people would want to have this shoe in the rotation definitely at this time of the year so i can see a lot of people wanting to go after these as well for me it's going to be a pass but at the end of the day i think it's a solid shoe now this next sneaker right here is a must cop for me and that is the air jordan 6 georgetown y'all know i love air jordan 6s this colorway is clean the materials look extremely dope and i'm excited to be able to rock these in my rotation and low-key this could easily be a pe i know the georgetown 6 pe looks a little bit different but at the end of the day this is definitely a fire shoe in my opinion and i'm looking forward to grabbing these in my collection also if you have any other questions about release dates retail prices different things like that i'll have everything in a list down below in the description here in the video that way you can refer to it that way you know exactly when the shoes are coming out and all the other additional information for each one of these shoes that we go over today all right next up on the list we have an air jordan 5 low but i'm actually kind of excited about these i'm low-key on the fence still but i'm definitely excited to see these in person and that is the psg colorway we have seen a high top version before in the past and we have seen other models when it comes to the fours and the sixes and different things like that so to see them bring a five low may be a little bit disappointing for other people because we've seen the other retros and different numbers with the high top versions but at the same time this is a pretty clean colorway and it looks like they came correct with the materials and i'm low-key again excited to see these in person let me know what you think about these down below i feel like they're going to be a sleeper pickup that a lot of people do appreciate if they end up getting the shoe and having it in hand and seeing all the materials and everything they're definitely going to like these following that release on september 6th we're going to have another air jordan one mid and those are going to be in the chutney colorway now these right here are very interesting i'm a steelers fan and i love the black and yellow vibes but you know how it comes with the mids they never really come correct when it comes to the materials and the color blocking just the overall pattern on this shoe i'm not exactly sure if i'm feeling that even if this was on an og high at the same time it's just like i don't know if i like this color blocking pattern let me know what you think down below maybe if they would have added a black toe on there or something like that kind of offset it a little bit but with the i don't know it's just kind of it's not really tickling my fancy but that's the best thing about being a sneaker head right at the end of the day we get to go after the sneakers that we want to go after and i'm gonna go after the ones i want to go after next up right here we have the air jordan system 23 clock now we know with the yeezy foams and the crocs and different stuff like that we've definitely seen a lot of different brands coming with these type of sneakers with that foam type of material so jordan brand has stepped into this space now and they got the elephant print on the upper on the inside with the sock liner and different stuff like that so i'm interested to see these in person these are not my style at all i don't like yeezy foam runners or the wave whatever they're called i don't like those <laughs> i don't like crocs i don't like any of that stuff so these right here they're not tickling my fancy i'm not really happy about these either and i definitely don't plan on going after these anytime soon i would like to see them in person how they put the whole shoe together but i definitely don't want to wear them or buy them next up we have another sneaker right here and it is the zion 2 in the multicolor colorway now these right here are going to be very interesting and i'm excited to see his second model in person after seeing his first model and hooping in them they are pretty solid and i don't know you know if the next model is going to be a little, obviously it looks
just a little bit more bulky. I don't know if it's gonna be heavier or not or anything like that. So overall, not a particular on the colorway, but just the actual sneaker. I definitely wanna see these in hand and actually feel them on court to see how they feel, how heavy they are hooping in that type of sneaker because I know Zion and Jason Tatum and different guys like that are definitely gonna be making a new stage uh, for themselves in the future when it comes to Jordan brand as well. Next up on September 7th, we have the Air Jordan 1 Mid Picnic. Now these right here, they look like some kid shoes, but I'm not exactly sure. We shall see later. Let me know, you guys can confirm that. But either way, again, this definitely does not look like a sneaker I plan on purchasing. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. Now when it comes to this next Air Jordan 1 Mid, this bring me back to high school memories with the UNC ones from back in the day with the photo on the side. It's coming all back to life again, but the new kind of mocked up version, and these are called the Game Winners, but it looks very similar to the previous pair that we saw in the back in the day. Let me know what you guys think about these. Is this a shoe that you plan on going after? I know the ones that back in the past, honestly, not that many people like loved them. I still liked them. I have them in my collection still to this day after all those years. So I'm a fan of them. But when it comes to these ones, I'm not sure because I already got one. And I'm like, I definitely don't think I need the second pair. Now, next up, we have a sneaker right here that's been slated as one of the best Air Jordan retros of this year. And that is a Fire Red Air Jordan 3s. And honestly, I have the shoes in hand. I've already made the video. It's going to be coming out soon. These things are dope. I'm excited. I cannot wait to show you guys the review. The, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a really nice shoe to say the least. You guys will see the review probably tomorrow or the next day. But either way, yes, I love this shoe and this is a must cop for everybody. Definitely a lot of people is probably going to want two or three pairs of this shoe for sure. Now also releasing with that shoe, we're going to have an Air Jordan 5 Low Expression. Now these right here are very interesting. This could low key be like one of those PE type sneakers that was randomly given to somebody on some friends and family stuff. And then, you know, we see it down the line, kind of like, remember the uh, Lely May 4s and something like that with the, the uh, camel on them and stuff like that. This could kind of fall in those type of lines, but because it's a release and it's not rare, exclusive and limited, all those things, I think a lot of people are just gonna pass up on it and you'll see this shoe sitting and it should be pretty easy to cop and you might even be able to get it at a discounted price. Again, we shall see. Let me know what you guys think about when it comes to these and if people are actually gonna buy these when they come out or if you're gonna be able to get them maybe at an outlet or somewhere discounted later as they're sitting on shelves. Next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Elevate Midnight Navy. Now this is gonna be a women's drop and I think that a lot of women that I've seen so far have been rocking these and loving them. They've done some cool colorways, some very neutral colorways. So I think for this one in particular with this colorway, you'll definitely see a lot of women going after these. Now I'm not 100% sure if this shoe is gonna sell out, but I know people that do actually appreciate it. So I think if they do end up getting the shoe, they're gonna be a happy camper. Following that release, we have an Air Jordan 1 Mid in the black grape colorway and these right here, they're just not doing it for me. I don't know if it's the actual tones of the colors or if it's just the color blocking pattern on the sneaker or what it is, but I don't know. I just can't get jiggy with it. Let me know what y'all think about these down below. Now, one shoe that I am looking to get jiggy with is this next one right here, the Air Jordan 2 J Balvin. I'm sure as you know, there has been a lot of hype behind this sneaker. Now, when the ones came out, there was a lot of people going after them. People thought they were gonna be worth way more money and then they ended up going down in price and now it's like a five or $600 shoe. It was like, oh, it's gonna be a thousand dollar sneaker and all the different stuff. I like the first ones. I like the second ones. Do I think these are the best Air Jordan 2s ever? No. I like the aspect that they have the light up tongue and the different things like that. I think that is dope to the shoe. But is this going to be a top five Air Jordan 2 of all time or anything like that? I don't think so. But I definitely do like and appreciate the shoe and would love to add these to my collection. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I think these are definitely going to look really dope with outfits and all the little details when it comes to the packaging and all that stuff. I'm sure they're going to have a lot of cool add ons when it comes to these. Now it feels like we just had the Pollen Ones come out not that long ago. But for some reason, these are like damn near the same shoe. And that's the Air Jordan 1 High OG Heirloom. And y'all know I'm a Steelers fan and all, but those are like virtually the same shoe. So I think it's gonna be hard for this shoe to sell just because of that. And the Pollens didn't go for as much as people thought they were gonna go to. And they're a lot more accessible uh, than people thought they would be. So I think for these ones in particular, people might want that leather version more, but we shall see when the time comes. Personally, it's gonna be a pass for me. Let me know what you guys think. Did you hit on the Pollens? Did you miss on the Pollens? Did you not like the pollens at all? How do these compare to those? Let me know down below in the comment section. Now this next one I'm pretty sure is only a women's drop and you know how that goes. I'm a size 13 in men so it might not even be made in my size. We shall see when the time comes. 
but we have the denim Air Jordan 1 OG High. I think they did an extremely good job on this shoe when it comes to the overall presentation and the materials on the shoe. We've already seen people doing some customizations on them with dyeing them and different things like that. So I think a lot of people are gonna create some cool concepts behind this sneaker and the women are definitely gonna be happy with this release. And if I can get a pair of my size, I would because I think this is a dope drop. Kind of give you that Levi denim ones back in the day or you know the Levi fours the current time in the past few years, different stuff like that. So I think this is a dope shoe. Again, ladies, let me know what you think because this is supposed to be for you. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Following that release, we got something sort of like the Scarface Air Force Ones, but it's on a Jordan and it's a low top retro and a mid retro, and that is the split Air Jordan 1. These come with that classic OG black and white 1985 color blocking, but these are split down the middle and on the inside of the shoe, it has the inverted colors with the white and the black compared to the black and white. We've seen something like this similar to the homage to homes from back in the day. Well, not back in the day, but a few years ago with the Chicago and the bread and different stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. They're going to be a pass for me, but I'm sure a lot of people will want to go after these. Now, following that release, we're going to have the Air Jordan 8 Paprika. And honestly, I think these are extremely dope. I don't think they're going to sell out and I don't think they're going to be too hard to get, but I definitely think whoever gets these is going to be excited about them. These look like some type of PEs or some type of like crazy collaboration that never got slated some type of name and the people that get it is going to enjoy it. So for me, I'm definitely going to go after these. I know there's not a lot of hype behind it because they're Jordan 8s and everything, but I like Jordan 8s and I think this colorway is really dope, especially with the red accents and the different things with the tabs on the back end and stuff like that. Now, next up right here, we have one of my most anticipated releases of this month, the Fire Red 3s, the Georgetown 6s, and the yellow toe Air Jordan 1 OG highs. Now, as y'all know, I'm not that big a fan of the shattered backboards. I just don't like the orange. But because this is yellow and I'm a more of a go ducks type of guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> these are definitely hitting home. And I think the crazier thing to think about it is these are actually going for a little bit over retail right now and the shoe hasn't even came out yet. So I think once that shoe does actually release, it's not going to be too hard to get. You're not going to have to spend too much even if you don't get it for retail. And everybody is essentially going to be happy campers when it comes to this drop. And then years from now, that's when the price is going to shoot up and everybody's going to be like, yo, I wish I would have kept the extra pairs and different stuff like that. Because I think this shoe right here here is extremely fire we have the purple toes you got the yellow toes you got the green toes different stuff like that i think these align perfectly in that color blocking and they're just so amazing all right you guys we got two more shoes left let's go ahead and get into it the air jordan one low og unc now typically when we think of the unc you got the unc and white color blocking pattern very simple and then they kind of match that we've seen low top versions in that in the past but this time they kind of switch it up giving us that more of a let's say fragment travis scott unc low one type vibe to it i don't know let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section now but for real though i think this is going to be immediate go-to because whoever didn't get the travis fragments they're going to be like well these are very similar so i might as well grab those and then you're going to see a lot of people rocking those and i think they'll be happy with it because this is definitely a fire colorway all right you guys and right here last but not least we have the air jordan 12 hyper royal now i think we talked about these last month because they were supposed to drop in and they got pushed back i don't remember but i feel like we did but either way with the white bottoms and a different color on the upper like that i don't know I just, I don't think these are gonna do it for me. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that's pretty much gonna do it. I know we had a ton of shoes to go over this month, so I had to kind of make it a little bit faster for each shoe so we're not taking too long. But I appreciate you guys as always. If you wanna see monthly updates like this at the beginning of every month on all the new Jordans and then different releases on whatever's coming out with reviews and PEs and samples and collection reviews and different stuff like that, this is the place to be. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, y'all, I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know what are the three top sneakers you would go after this month. For me, Yellow Toes, Georgetown's, Fire Reds, for sure. Actually, 
damn, those J Balvin's, that's gonna be a tough one. Oh, 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 oh